Erica Jong is an American novelist and women's rights activist who writes this about women in the 18th century. We do not have a clear path forward for women, and feminism for that matter, as the idea of women's rights only began in the 18th century. The novel I am analyzing is set in the 18th century, supposedly when people even began to consider women's rights. Despite the suggested beginning of women's rights, women were still treated quite unfairly in the novel The Professor and the Madman. The women in the novel were kept from education, much social interaction, and held the same social status as children. Women in the 21st century are educated, working, and are a large part of society. Because of this, women could have been a tremendous help to the men that made the Oxford English Dictionary, but were unable to receive proper education due to their responsibilities as a woman and were unable to help. Women were treated like very in incapable individuals in the 18th century, and this is shown in the book The Professor and the Madman. In this media presentation of feminist literary criticism on The Professor and the Madman, I will show you the different examples of women in the novel, as well as the reasons for them being discriminated almost entirely from the plot of the novel. The Professor and the Madman is set in 18th century England, when women were uneducated, considered unfit for the educational field, and stayed at home looking after the children. Unfortunately, this was the life of Victorian women in the 18th century, and the novel The Professor and the Madman depicts this through the lack of women's importance to the story behind the Oxford English Dictionary and ultimately the plot behind the book. The first of the few women recognized in the story is Eliza Merritt. Eliza was the wife of George Merritt who was killed by Dr. William Minor. Eliza is mentioned once because she brings books to Dr. Minor to assist him in his endeavors as in his endeavors to complete the Oxford English Dictionary. Other than her relationship with Dr. Minor, Eliza was never mentioned again because she no longer had a relationship with any man in the story. The second woman that is mentioned in, is Ada Murray, the wife of James Murray. Ada Murray is only mentioned once, explained as James Murray's social and intellectual equal and is only mentioned because it was to help describe her husband, James Murray. Women in this novel are only used as character developments for the two main characters and the other men in the novel, and if they have no relation to the main character's story, then they are completely ignored. I doubt the author is trying to avoid using women in his novel, but rather is lacking in information about them as they were unable to perform memorable tasks due to society's view on women at the time. The third woman mentioned is Dr. Miner's mother. All that is said about her is that she was Dr. Miner's mother. Again, her brief mentioning is another good example of a huge lack of information about women in society back in the 18th century due to their lack of importance. The book does mention women in general, but when this happens, they are referenced as acting like children, running from fireworks. Like the fire-frightened housemaids who hurried back down to the servants' entrances of the great houses nearby. And contrary to the women, men seem to be too involved in their studies to care for childish things like fireworks. But there were men who had outgrown such energetic diversions, eager to escape the sound of excitement and celebration, and return to scholarly discourse. Winchester 87-88 to 88. 
When, a, when an interview is occurring about a man who attempted to make dictionaries before the Oxford English Dictionary, the dictionaries his team were creating were meant for the uneducated of the time so that they could expand their vocabulary. These, quote, uneducated people were referred to as women. Educating of the ed uneducated, among whom were counted the women of the day, who often enjoyed little schooling. Winchester 93 Women in the 18th century are usually thought of as classy, ladylike, and meant only for keeping care of children. But through the lack of information, unfortunately, it becomes clear that they played almost no part in the making of the dictionary or in the academic endeavors of their husband due to society's view on them at the time. It is sad that so many women have just recently been able to receive a proper education in our society. The funny part is, they seem to be doing better at, it than, at education than most men, as there are more women entering college or university than there are men. Moving on from past shortcomings and allowing for development and growth together, with women and men as equals, is our only way to overcome the difficulties of the past, i.e. Victorian era and the plot in The Professor and the Madman.